Hello there guys, this is Rich and I have a new game. Well, it's not new to me but it's new to the channel. It's called Mark of the Ninja and I have already completed it and I must say it is a fantastic game. Um, I'm going to be playing in New Game Plus which is the harder version where one hit kill to you obviously and enemy are better you can't see behind you all that stuff now it does give me equipment that I'm not meant to have at the start of the game but I'm going to only use equipment as I get it so yeah should be challenging So, from the very start, let's do this. So yeah, as you can see, I've unlocked pretty much everything. This one being the only one that I haven't. So, this is the default one. All of these give you different, better stuff. Right. At the moment, I'm not meant to have anything, so I'll just take the defaults and use nothing. And here we go. Opening sequence. Truly a ninja. One down, two down, three down. Four down. Right then. Hey, you. Don't you hear the bell? So as you can see the area behind and slightly above me Rule number one, is blurred. Don't get me killed. Oh dear. That's not good. We got the one that ran away, sir. They should all be killed or captured now. Stand down and get ready to leave at 15. Okay then. So. Where's your sword? Stick to the darkness until you find one. At the moment, I have literally nothing. Not even a sword. Watch out. They're coming this way. You know, in theory. The waiting does get a tad boring, but can't be helped. <clears throat> you always move slowly or the enemy will hear you. It's just a rule of this More game. Of Find a place to hide. Haha, <laughs> hidden. And there we go. Uh oh. Did you see those banners? We could totally sell them to a gallery. And the blood will make them look even more authentic. So yeah, as you can see, this game is all about Get the stealth. Ledge. From there, you can pull yourself up. Aha, my first piece of kit, the grappling hook. It allows me to latch onto points like that, like she just did. Now 
and through to here. Pass straight over these guards. Could you hurry up? This place is giving me the creeps. It still feels like we're being watched. Sorry, I shouldn't have opened up the parachute Good plot there. Cold. Looks like they don't know you're alive. Let's keep it that way. Right then. Now I have a sword. That's good. Now you're ready to kill. The beginning of the kill is like embracing a lover. The end, of course, is not. So yeah, that's how you kill. You hold down the mouse button and then swipe in the correct direction. If you want, you can hide the bodies. Gives you more points. And as you know, points mean prizes. Well, not especially in this game, but... Two down. What I really like about this game is that in some levels you can choose to be just a ghost and ha not kill anybody and not get seen by anybody, which is quite epic. If you need more cover, Ooh. you could always destroy the lights. But shattering one will make a loud noise, so be ready for them to react. So yeah, that blue ring, the massive one, is the amount of noise it'll make. So that's not a good idea. Hey, there he is. Yeah. Run. <laughs> There we go. That is how not to ninja. So, just go up here. Through this part. Oh, by the way, there are loads and loads of collectibles all along the way, should you wish to get them. Now, technically I shouldn't be able to do this, but because I can, I'll just show you. Still my favourite way of killing. Because it hides the body as well. <laughs> Apart from maybe this. That's also fun. So yeah. Just casually strolling through the place. We need to make him look the other way. That we do, that we do. Now, the blue ring doesn't reach him from that one, but it does from that one. Oh yeah! Hey, what was that noise? Dead. Yeah, this level really isn't that good for, um, not killing anybody. Right, I have completely forgotten what's through this door, but if you lean against the doors, you can see what's through them. How epic is that? And dead. <laughs> right then, two of them. 
Now, once again, this isn't a way that you're allowed to kill by yet, but I'm going to do it anyway. <clears throat> And then, I'll show you what happens if the enemies see their friends dead. Where is he? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> they go trigger happy. Now, of course, you can just leave them like that, but they can become troublesome if you try to leave the area. So, I just kill them. Again, shouldn't be able to do that yet. But, I'm just ninja like that. Yeah, should not have jumped there. Ugh, why is this game being so laggy? I scouted up ahead. They're taking Ninja as hostages, and Master Azai is in trouble. We have to- Damn it, no! To the hurrying, that is. We shall take it as a leisurely play pace. I'm sure he'll still be alive when we get there. Yeah, faster lockpicks. As you can see, I'm not good at this game at all. Ah, uh, yes. One of the best rooms in the entire game. What you really need is for the guy on the left to be standing under the other one, which I believe is the far left point of his patrol. However, taking no chances. There we go. Don't worry about me. Go save Master as I. Oh, I will later. You know. Ah, yes. This one as well. This one's a good one. Hold on. Do you hear something? Go check that over there. What you need to do is attack him while he's looking up. Must be something around here. Who's out there? Hey! Oh shit, it's him! Crap. Hey, I heard that. That is not how you do that room. Oh! Smoking guard. That is one way to do that room. We killed as many as we could, but they overwhelmed us. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Now scram. Oop. Well, that's not good. Ah. <sighs> When there's two of them, you really just can't catch a break. Until that happens. At which point, feel free to kill both of them. almost always better to enter via one of these ways. Let's 
So then. So then, so then, so then. This room is boring. Aha, these things. They're sort of like checkpoints, but they're also cues for cutscenes. You picked the wrong guys to rob, Sensei. Uh-huh. It's time for the old man to retire, boys. Yeah? You think so? One down. Second terrified. And just jump my way around down there. And save Master as I. There we have it. For centuries we have stayed hidden. We shunned the modern world and its jackals. But today, our enemies have found us. We must strike back. We will fight for our survival and our honor. I foresaw this day would come. And so, I called upon a champion to fight for us. He has accepted the first mark. He will defend the clan at a terrible cost. So yeah, there are three sc scrolls to collect in every level, three seals, which are basically things that you have to do, skill things, and then there's a point system where there's the points you've got in the level, the amount of times that you're undetected, the amount of enemies that you distract. If you don't raise an alarm, then you get 3,000 points, and if you don't kill anybody, then you get 5,000 points. These two change from level to level, but that is how it works. So. I shall be doing these per level, so that is the end of episode 1. So if you want me to be doing it really stealthily or really aggressively, leave a comment. And other than that, no, I'm not going to show you where all the secrets are. You can find those yourself, lazy bastards. <laughs>